Labor unions in Nigeria have commenced a nationwide strike following the inability of the tripartite committee set up by the government to agree on a new minimum wage for the country and reverse the hike in electricity tariff. The labor union de decided to embark on the strike following the expiration of a deadline they gave the government to conclude all negotiations for a new minimum wage before the end of May. Our correspondent, Emeka Marco, files in this report on the situation of the strike in Abuja. It's the first day of the indefinite strike embarked upon by the organized labor and the impact is visible in Abuja, the federal capital. As early as 7 a.m., a combined team of union members were seen in batches at various locations enforcing the strike action. The popular federal secretariat, federal ministries of foreign affairs, Health and Social Development, Federal Capital Development Authority, financial institutions and other places visited were conspicuously under lock and keys. Businesses and critical services across the country, including schools, hospitals and power supply, aren't spared either as workers complied with the strike action. Even the National Assembly, whose leadership played the arbiter in the badge negotiation yesterday, was also under lock and key. This strike is total. This is just day one. And for us to have reasonably this compliance level is total. You can't tell tomorrow how it will look like. It's not our prayer or in our own decision or, or, or wish that the uh, government should not come to terms with labor. But when that happens, I assure you, tomorrow will be total. Total than this. The decision of labor is indefinite until their request is met. Now, the federal government as a time has not been able to shift grant. So they should offer us something reasonable that will make the young workers to smile home. We are we are we are aware of current situation of things in the country. If you go if you go to market now, what is happening in market is not friendly. And because before you add other things that make you to live as a woman being, until when federal government are able to shift grants, when the shift grants are meet up to our demand, we are good to go. The labor unions called the strike action after negotiation with government and private sector broke down as the union rejected 60,000 naira minimum wage put forward by the government's private sector employees. We love Nigerians. We want to come back to the office, but we want to come back well. We want to be happy that if we come back to the office, we'll go back and meet our loved ones. But right now, it is not, it is not possible. With what we are earning, it is not possible. We can't even use this money for one week. Go to all the loans in Abuja, all the people that give loans, civil servants are the highest people taking loans. Why? So it is not too, it is not too, it is not too pleasant. Government should at least. We, are, we know that Tinubu is a nice person. We know, we believe that when he came in as a president, he has worked with um, workers before. He will know the best way to treat us. But this is not what we bargain for. Our leaders, are they feeding, are they feeding their dogs with 57,000 in a month? But Nigerian workers who will work every day for 30 days, they are the ones you will count 57,000 to give. No, you don't push the people to the wall and expect them not to react. We are not happy that we have to go on strike. But then when we are pushed to the wall, we have to react. Government is giving us with left hand and taking with right hand. Do you know how much government has taken from me in the last one year? Subsidy is gone. Electricity, this is happening. Then why is it so difficult to give the Nigerian worker a living wage? Some residents of the city say they are in support of the action. It is not certain yet when negotiations will resume for now. The unions are sticking to their guns, insisting they want nothing short. The 494,000 naira they are demanding.